Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna be diving into another Licks of Steel. This one is a couple licks from a new song, Under the Essence of Truth. And the first lick sounds like this. And then the other lick will sound like this. So we're gonna be in E minor, G major scales today. And both licks are gonna be using the three note per string major scale shapes. And once this descending pattern, I'm not sure where I got it from, but it's a really cool pattern. It sounds like this. Halfway through, move it up a position. So I do something like this. Kind of using the G major scale through number string shape, which is three, five, seven, three, five, seven on the low E and A, four, five, seven on the D and G. And then five, seven, eight on the top two strings. But for this lick, we're actually just gonna start on the B string and walk down. Also, if you guys want tab for this lesson and a bunch of other in-depth lessons going all kinds of different things, including licks, theories, and patterns like this, go check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. And so the pattern sounds like this. So we're actually starting with, in this case, the ring finger, or I'm actually seeing it as the middle note. So for it's three notes, we have the kind of starter note, the ending note, and then we have the middle note. So each pattern starts on the middle note. It's pretty interesting. So uh, in this case, it's gonna be seven, eight, seven, five. And then we're going seven, five, seven, five, but that's going to the G string back to the B string. And I'm picking the first note, pick, Hammer, pull off, pull off. And I go pick, down, up, down, up. Then we move the same pattern to the G string, and it looks like this. So that's gonna be fifth fret G string with a down stroke. Hammer seven, pull off five, pull off four. And then, <laughs> and then seven on the D, back to four on the G. Now you could just continue that down the whole scale shape there and get something like this. Which I actually did, but then I overlaid this uh, part where I move up a third to this. So it's the same scale, we're still in G major, but we're in position three right here, doing the same pattern. So we're starting on the B string, 10th fret with a downstroke. Hammer 12, pull off 10, pull off eight, and then go, 10, 8. We go to the G string 11, right back to 8th fret on the B. Then we go to the G string. And that's going to be 9, hammer 11, pull off 9, pull off 7, and then 10 on the D, back to 7 on the G. So both shapes together sounds like this. It's a really fun pattern to throw in. Now the next pattern is a really cool run, very Paul Gilbert inspired. It sounds something along these lines. And for this, I knew in the piece of music that I had one measure to throw a fast run in. And so I want it to be six, eight note triplets as well, which means I'm gonna have four cycles of six notes. And so I just took a really classic Paul Gilbert pattern. I'm not picking all the notes though. I'm actually um, doing a very Eddie Van Halen way of where we do some pick hammer-ons and then we do a bunch of picks and it makes it sound super aggressive. So what we're doing, so this is the first beat, one, and then two, beat three, and then beat four. And then the downbeat of the next measure, I just hit the 12th fret of the high E. And so like I said, still G major, we'll start on the A string, third fret, going down stroke, and then hammer on five, seven. And then going to the D string, four, five, seven, and I'm going up, down, up. So the picking for each of these shapes is gonna be down, hammer, hammer, up, down, up. So that's our first beat. Now we're moving our first finger up 
on the st staying on the D string, but we're moving it to the fifth fret, and we're going five, seven, nine. That's down, hammer, hammer. And then up, down, up on the G string, five, seven, nine. So that's beat two. So beat one, beat two. Now beat three, we're staying on the G string. First finger is going to move to the seventh fret. We're going to go seven, nine, eleven. That's pick, hammer, hammer. And the B string is going to go eight, ten, twelve. And that's going to be up, down, up. So beat one, two, and three all together. Then the last beat, beat four, is going to be first finger is going to move up to 10th fret, and it's going to be. So that's down on 10, hammer 12, hammer 13. And then up, down, up on the high E, going 10, 12, 14. And then I just end off on the next measure. 12th fret high E. So we have. And that's just right in one measure of the song. So. And I strategized. I was like, okay, I have a, I have a timing of one measure. Um, and I kind of felt it, felt it out. I wanted to do a 16 note triplet run. And obviously, Paul Gilbert patterns are fantastic for that. And I knew I had a cycle, whatever I did, four times. So, you know, I could have just went like. Two, three, and then ended somewhere but also i knew i wanted to end on that e note so i was like okay how can i start down here and then end up here and that's kind of how i stumbled upon this idea so a quick recap so the first little lick and then the second one well, I hope you enjoyed these two licks for my new song, Under the Essence of Truth. I'm bringing back the licks of Still a little bit. I forget what episode this is, but I'll figure it out and number it eventually. Have fun with these licks, and I'll see you guys back next time. Hey!